So we played the Outriders demo the, over this weekend, and we have some thoughts about it. Actually, it was a pretty surprising experience for me and Kuma. I'm going to let Kuma start talking about what he thought about the demo. Honestly, in the beginning, I did not have high expectation. I went in with the mindset that this game going to flop, going to be shit, it's going to suck. And like the first maybe 15 minutes to half an hour, it did appear to be that kind of way. I was like, okay, everything's corn to what I was thinking. And then it just did a 180 on me for both of us, honestly. And we both were pleasantly surprised at how much fun we were having at this lovely demo. I think this demo really changed my opinion about it because when I first heard about this game and I saw the you know trailers for it and I was like, this does this looks pretty generic and everything. But no, it's it's like you said, with the opening, I was pretty bored with it. I thought it was it was not it wasn't grabbing me at all. I was ready to call it quits almost. But yeah, once like a certain part happens and it just flips around and it's just like the story suddenly becomes actually interesting to follow and actually listen to because the character is actually interesting, which is crazy to me. And I'm, yeah, I'm very pleasantly surprised by it. Yeah, the, the main character actually had a personality, not empty shell that we could project ourselves onto because we're boring people. We can't project ourselves onto empty shells. No, we can't. So I watch someone that has something savvy or snarky to say, something funny. With some sass. Yeah, the one-liner. So I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. I, I laughed a few times. <laughs> some of the dialogue. It's like, this game I is very good at subverting your expectations. Like, it's been a while since I've had a game like that. Where it's just like, you think one thing's going to happen, but then it doesn't. It doesn't happen the way you were thinking at all which is very fun it's very fun to like keep trying to guess what's going to happen it makes you very in uh, invested in it yeah for sure um let's talk about the shooting man since the looter shooter and, and the loot yeah i How think feel about the i think the shooting is not as good as division two's or Destiny 2, for that matter. I think those... As much as garbage as we give for those games at times, I think the shooting is top-notch for those ones. This one feels a little off. Feels a little buggy. Like, the shooting mostly feels tight. But there are some cases where... something doesn't feel right, you know? And the cover system is... <laughs> that's a... Uh, that I'm sorry, but that needs work. Yeah, I agree with you on those points. Um, I guess the maybe the shooting doesn't have enough impact. I know that there's a couple things that really bug me, like the crosshair. I can't, I couldn't see anything, so I don't know what the hell I'm shooting until I zoom in. So that kind of like throws me off a bit. And like you said, with the cover system. It does. It doesn't work as well compared to Division. Division was really smooth. This one is like kind of a little off-putting at times. Like you get into like a uh, a cover, but you can't go to a different cover unless you hit another button. Yeah, it's not as. Uh, it doesn't flow as well. I guess would be the right way. Like you have to press a button, and then there's a little delay. And I'm sure this is a bug, but sometimes when you try to enter cover, you don't enter cover. Like. And it's it's not even like a different like piece of cover. Like you stand up and then you try to go back to the cover you were just at and it doesn't work. So I'm pretty sure that's just a bug that you need to fix. But uh I tell you one thing, I do feel very powerful. I feel like I'm like a yes. god. So it does replicate that feeling of destiny for me, but better because like the cooldown is so much faster. This is I think this is more of a Faster pace for sure, and it's more of a power fantasy, in my opinion. Yeah, this one, power fantasy, yes, definitely. Uh, let's talk about the loot, though. The loot, 
Oh, okay. Yeah. If you're finished with the shooting aspect. No, I think the like yeah, like I said, the shooting is not quite up to par with the Destiny or Division, but you know it's it's okay, it's serviceable. But yeah, uh, the loot, the loot system is it seems very basic when you first start out, but once you start getting once you start getting higher levels, is when it starts branching out a bit because start unlocking different perks for your armor and weapons that give you different abilities like passive abilities so it might uh, start changing like your active skills that you're using it might start adding damage or it might start adding like aoe damage to it or like a chain effect kind of thing which is pretty cool it makes it interesting to experiment with powers yeah it reminds me of uh, diablo kind of like. yes like diablo 3 like how their legendary uh, items will fundamentally change how the skill works most of the time. Like maybe, say if you're playing the wizard or something, like the mage class, and use a hydra, uh, one of the unique weapons or unique armor pieces might, you know, have the hydra spawn like five additional heads that all have independent reactions in and can shoot different targets kind of thing it might just completely change a skill which is i like that i like that approach to loot it makes it more yeah. fun and engaging yeah, to like definitely will be playing much longer because you're experimenting right so the value. it's not just like stat upgrades like your skill does five percent more damage like that's honestly a pretty boring upgrade to experiment with like it works It'll do more damage, you'll feel more powerful, but it's just not interesting, you know? It's not why I'm coming to play a game. It's like, oh, I want to do 5% more damage to an enemy. It's like, if you ex if explain that to someone, that's not, that's not cool. It's maybe for a, a, a math nerd, sure. Like, oh man, these statistics. <laughs> these percentages, man, they're really, they're really good. But yeah, it's... Uh, I like the loot system. It's growing on me. It's, I think it has a decent amount of depth. And I think you said that the Mass Effect and Diablo teams are working on this. Yeah, at least according to this old video I watched, it's it's like the the ex developers from those two teams is uh, working on this game, and I I see it coming in into the final product, or at least the product that we see at hand. I see it. <clears throat> and it, it feels good, in my opinion. I think there could be a lot of depth, which with the loot system, and I hope the end game holds up. But you know, the demo only lets you play up to about level seven, so you get to experience the very beginning. But you can't, you can't experiment too much, which you know that's that's okay. I mean, it's just a demo, but. I think it was a very generous demo, more than a lot of others, because it gave you a lot to do for, you know, just trying it out. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's one of the best demo I've ever, ever played, because it gave you, like, almost the final product, so you know what you're getting into. Like, whatever you're playing now is basically almost the final game, and it, it gives you almost three to four hours of game fun. And you, it lets you save over your um, your uh, file. You yeah, your character, any character you make, the progression will carry over to the final game. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I think this is a very generous uh, uh, demo. I think it's great marketing on their part. I th I honestly think this is an underrated demo. Like people, people should check it out. I think yeah, you. Big yeah. I think you could have a good time with it if you just let yourself, you know, just let yourself be surprised. Don't look at anything about it. I think that's why it worked so well for us because we had no expectations for this. <laughs> we have low expectations. Or we had low expectations, yeah. I think, yeah, I think it did its job. I want to play more of it. Maybe not so yeah. at launch. I think the big question is would you buy this at launch? Based on this demo, uh, 
Yeah, I will. I will have. I will have. I think I had so much fun, and I felt like I could enjoy it definitely much more. I think I will pay full price for it. I think I would too. This is the. This is a lot of fun I had with this demo. I was very happy with it. Uh, bugs aside, which I I'm sure they will fix. Like technical yeah. issues aside, that doesn't bother me so much. Yeah, it's, uh, we will. We will expect a day one patch, like every other game. Right. They, 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 they're gonna fix it, and they got time. They got it's not released until April. So they got over tomorrow. a month. Yeah. So yeah, they. Yeah. Have, I'm sure they'll take the feedback from the demo and what people yeah. say about it, and you know, try to fix as much as they can. The things they can't fix, you know, is the story or the dialogue, things like that. Yeah. And like the loot system, you know, and the shooting. So. If those hold up in the demo, which it does, then it's off to a good start already, you know? I believe so. A wonderful start. Yeah. Many looter shooting games like, like this always fail at this in the beginning. Like, you can have a really solid story and everything, but if it's going to be a game like this where you want to have people keep playing it for hours and hours and hours... You need to have that gameplay loot like down tight. Like you need to have it be fun. You want it to really draw people in and just have a blast playing it. So luckily this game does that. Which I can't say for a lot of other games in this genre. So if they can nail the gameplay loop, that's that's what will sell it to people. And on, it's like a cherry on top if the story is just engaging too it's just like well it's something else people will you know be interested in and want to you know get into it more yeah. I feel like they took the the good aspects of every looter shooter game and put it in this one game and they combined it and they made it work really well yeah I think so too actually real quick what do you think about the powers? I I, I like I like them overall. I like them a lot, but you know, but but we have to keep in mind we only discover four powers out of the whole eight, right? And there there's also a a, a three. There's a uh, skill tree too. Three separate specialization skill trees that we haven't really tried out yet. Yeah, and then all these different loots that might change your character and how how you want to play it. So just it's just a lot to really experiment on that we don't know yet. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, we tried uh, a few classes. I tried the Technomancer and the... Well, I tried three, actually. The Pyromancer and the Rogue class. I don't remember. The Assassin's Struggle class. I like the Pyromancer the most, personally. I thought it was fun. You have a lot of life steal and sustain. You know, it's it feels good. Technomancer, I could I did not like, but I think it'll be very useful at end game when you have to rely like when you're in a team and you need to rely more on support and heals and such. Yeah, I think so. I think with the proper equipment and stuff, maybe you summon more turrets out. Yeah. Throw out more bomb. Right. I could see it be like a summoning class. Yeah, you can. You could summon like mortars and like cryo turrets, things like that. A bunch of other things. I'm sure it'd be really fun. I'm sure there'll be skill like, you know, gear, like those passive skills that we were talking about. It'll probably like enhance those turrets and stuff to different effects, maybe. Oh yeah, it could be pretty cool. Like what combinations you could do. Uh what classes did you play? You played the assassin and the tank? And, uh, tank? Yeah. What do you think of those? Oh, uh, I thought the assassin was really fucking OP. Yeah, that slash was so fucking cool. I felt so powerful. It doesn't take too long for it to like cool down. So I've been using it a lot. Uh, you didn't like the teleport thing, but I thought it was all right. I teleport behind them and then I unleash that slash and wipe out everybody in that, se in that section. That was pretty cool. I'm, I was really squishy though, but that's the main point. I am supposed to be. Squishy. You're very mobile, but you're very squishy. Yeah, that makes sense. Bouncing is there. You know. Yeah, I think that's your class. To be honest. <laughs> and then we, when I was playing the tank, I felt really powerful too. Like I, I was taking so much hit, 
Okay, I, I went in, I, I just unleashed everything. The only, only thing I wish they did more was, like, when I took on that rock armor, I wish it lasts longer, but it didn't really last that long. It's like, really the cool. duration? Maybe there might be a skill point for it, like, in the skill tree, to increase durations. Or... But for sure, like, but when we play together, while you play as... The uh, assassin, yeah. And I play as a tank. And the the synchro the synchronization of our two classes work really well together. We like we like down from all the enemies really quickly, really efficiently. Yeah, the so, synergy was awesome. Like I had a lot of fun. Just like I would teleport behind them and do a slash or something, and then you would just jump right in, and then we just instantly wipe out like a group of dudes. I was just like, yeah, that, was that was pretty cool. cool. And then I could just um, drop to like my slow bubble and just like slow everyone down, so we just take care of everyone else. Or, yeah, it was a lot. There's a lot you could do with teamwork for that. Um, I feel like we need more guns, though. I feel like it's only like X amount of guns, like four guns that you can use. Like I feel different like weapon more... types. Yeah, I think you need more weapon types. It's like a shotgun, an SMG, your assault rifle. You got like a carbine rifle. It's like single shot and sniper rifles, but. I want more. There should be more guns. <laughs> I feel like they could get really creative with maybe they do like elemental weapons or something. Like, I don't know. You could do like a lot. Like, since this game is like super sci fi and it's got elemental things, like, you could do, you could really open up their creativity with it. That's true. Um, let's talk about the bosses or those special hard enemies. Okay. They're bosses. Moving on. No. <laughs> uh, I like the boss fights. They were actually challenging, some of them. <sighs> actually almost wiped out from them. And this was on the, the lower difficulty. They have nice, diverse skills. They're like, they have a theme to them. Like, you might fight like a fire boss that summons like fire tornadoes and things like that. And just, or you fight a lightning boss that summons lightning orbs and lightning storms. And then makes like the metal traps that are conductive electricity kind of thing. But there's a lot of creativity with these bosses, and they're not they're not easy, which I like. They're a challenge. What do you think? Yeah, I I, I appreciate these bosses. I wish they had more backstory though. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm missing from them. Yeah, they just kind of pop in. It's like, here's the boss. Go kill him. Move on. Yeah, definitely really fun, and I could uh, I could only imagine it gets harder in the future. Like they throw like throw in like a couple of these altar bosses, right? To fight to, and then there's mobs that comes in too. So I I feel like they could make a a raid like boss fight or raid like uh mission. They got definitely pull it off. So we need a healer, a tank, and that kind of shit. Yeah, it's too bad the cap for players is only three. So we can't really do that too much. You know, you never know. Because Division had, uh, when they did the raid, Division 2, they had like, two teams of uh, four. I'm sure they could do something similar if they really want to try. They could do it. If Division yeah. could do it, they could do it. I'm sure they could. I hope so. They could really open up with some uh, crazy team compositions. <laughs> you know, just have people like, do like so many different kinds of builds, maybe. Yeah, I mean... Already, uh, this game is already stealing a lot of ideas from all these different looter shooter games. So they just gotta take whatever works from these other games and make it their own. And they, yeah. I could see the game going, going to last a long time. They did that, you know. Take all the shit that works in Division Two, take all the shit that works in Div uh, Destiny, take all the shit that works in, you know, Anthem. I don't know. Just take everything that works and just put it in this game. They did it already, just continue doing it. Yeah, take the best parts of all those games and add your own spin to it. I think... I know they say this is this is game is not a live service, but, you know... But I think, like, if live service games did something like things like this, like I think 